three. <clears throat> in this uh, lesson, the first first part there are three parts. First part is uh, derivations. I'm sorry, definitions. Definition means what is a physical quantity in unit six. Definitions are there. Then uh, the second part is about the significant figures. They deleted uh, the error analysis part. Okay, in the second part there was error analysis that is deleted now. So we have uh, the first part only definitions. Second part is significant figures. Then third part is uh, dimensional analysis or dimensional formula. Okay, about that. So in the class, we did the first part and second part. Significant figures also we did, I think. Anyways, I'll quickly do, redo it once again, these two parts, and third part also, we'll try to do it, okay? So we'll start with physical quantity, okay? And I think I have given the classification of the physics also, okay? Classification of physics. So yes, sir, you give. What, what, is, what is physics? It's a study of? It, it is a study of nature and the laws governing it. Like there are uh, like rotation of the moon, rotation of the earth, all these, they are, they are doing by the, this is a nature, natural process. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to disturb the nature, but you are going to find out the laws. They have like so many scientists, they have studied about the natural phenomena and they drafted few laws. Okay. So, that is why we have Newton's law, Einstein's laws, many laws are there. Okay. <clears throat> now, so the first, uh, in, if you go to the classification, the first is mechanics. Second is thermodynamics. Third is waves and oscillations. These, th these three you study in grade 11. Mechanics. Uh, first is, here I just write here. Me mechanics. Uh, thermodynamics. Third part is waves and oscillations. Waves and oscillations. These three you study in grade level. Fourth one is uh, optics, electricity, current, electricity, around electrodynamics. Electrodynamics and fifth one is model, sixth one is model physics. So the first three, <clears throat> the first three you study in grade level, and second three you study in grade one. Okay. First three <clears throat> you study in grade level, and the second three you study in grade 12. Because this is an integrated course, you can't complete all the six in one go. So that's the reason. We have three in one and three in uh, two. Any curriculum, uh, whether it is a CBSC or ICSC, or whether you go to <clears throat> British curriculum or American curriculum, any curriculum. So you have to do this. Now, after this, uh, we have to study about the physical uh, quantity. What is a physical quantity? Any idea? Physical quantity, quantity that can be measured. Yeah, any quantity that can. Yeah, any quantity which is measurable. Any quantity which is measurable is known as a physical quantity. Now, <clears throat> what is the example of this? Mass, speed, length. Yeah, length, mass, and time. You can measure the length, you can measure the mass, you can measure the time. The next definition is unit. What is a what is unit? What is unit? So see, suppose if you are, you ask the what is your height or what is your weight, if you ask uh, what is the height, he will say maybe 160 or one, 160 or 170 something. So if he has to say the unit, if he doesn't say the unit, then the value will become meaningless. It, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. So when he says, yeah, one, 170 centimeter, yeah, it understood. If he doesn't say anything, is it is it 170 centimeter or meter or uh, is it uh, inches or is it feet? It becomes a big question unless and until you mention you mention the unit. Okay, so that is very very important. So so unit means the value of a physical quantity is expressed in in unit. The value of a physical quantity is expressed in unit. 
What is the example now? Example is what? Example is meter, kilogram, and second. So the value of a physical quantity is expressed in unit. It's measured in meter, kilogram, and second. Next is what fundamental physical quantity. Fundamental. Fundamental physical quantity. So what is the definition of this? Uh, physical quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of other physical quantities. Very good. Physical quantities which cannot be expressed in other physical quantities. Or they are independent of other physical quantities. They are known as fundamental physical quantities. Actually, there are total seven. Okay. What are they? So they are uh, length. I'll write the tabular column itself directly. Okay. So we have the physical quantity. Physical quantity. Uh, its symbol. Unit. And again, there is a physical symbol. Okay. So, so we have. Sir, yeah. sir like uh, in the textbook for this table, there is uh, definitions also given for each, right? It's only for reading, right? No, no. Definition of uh, you, you mean uh, meter. All the seven uh, base quantities. Yeah, yeah no, not right. actually. Uh, there are there, these seven. I will just write and I will explain you about that. Okay. So, okay, physical quantity here, what is that? Uh, here we have length, length, then mass, then time. Actually, only three were there before. There were not seven, there were only three. Let's see, uh, for our living, what are the three uh, fundamental things as per social sciences? That is what? Uh, food, shelter, and clothing. These are the three important, right? Now, yes, sir. electricity has become an important part of our life, is it not? Can you think a life without electricity? No. It's not possible, right? We are completely dependent on electricity now. Can you think a life without a mobile phone or internet? No, sir. Yeah, if the internet doesn't work for some time, we go crazy, is it not? We go and check the instrument, if there is any problem in the instrument or any problem in the router or something like that, okay? So, we are completely dependent now. We have added few things to our life now. Electricity, mobile phone, internet, all these things we have added to our life, okay? It's no, it's no more a luxury now. Earlier, internet was a luxury or phone was a luxury, long time back. But now, it became a necessity now, okay? Now, so we have uh, length, mass, and time. Next, we have temperature. This because, because we were not able to express temperature in terms of length, mass, and time. We were not able to express intensity of light, brightness of light. Okay. We were not able to express intensity of light. We were not able to express intensity of light. Electric current. Yeah, electric current. Very good. And amount of substance. Okay. Amount of substance. We were not able to express all these seven physical quantities length, mass, time, temperature, intensity of light, current, and uh, electric current and amount of substance. We were not able to express this four, we were not able to express in terms of length, mass, and time. So we added uh, four more physical quantities to the existing three physical quantities. Now there are total seven. So, what is the symbol of this? We write L, M, T, and this also this is capital T. Intensity of light I and current also I. Amount of substance is N. Okay. Now, so unit of this is what? It is kilogram. Oh, sorry, and meter. Here we write kilogram. Then here we write second. Then here we write Kelvin. Intensity of light is candela. Then current is ampere. Amount of substance is uh, mole. Symbol of this is M. 
के जी एस के सी डी के एन एन मोल एन बोल एन ओके सो दिस आर द सेवन फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज ओके दिस आर द सेवन फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज सो एक्चुअली सर डेफिनेशन फॉर फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज the quantities that cannot be derived with respect to other terms no the uh, quantities which cannot be expressed in in the in the other physical quantities which cannot be expressed in or which cannot be which are independent of other physical quantities okay ah okay okay sir which are independent of other physical quantities they are known as fundamental physical quantities okay and one more thing For length, there is again a definition. For mass, there is a definition. Like they express in some scientific terms and all. That is not required. I will tell you. See earlier, we did not have a proper unit, uh, for a proper measurement for length and all, all these things. So what they did, uh, there is a museum in uh, France in Paris, the Science Museum in Paris. So what they did, they did they kept the standard uh, uh, length means. There is a uh, metallic rod whose length is one meter. It is made up of platinum and platinum and iridium. Why? Because its length should not increase in summer and in winter it should not contract. Something like that. Because of that they made some that metal. They used that metal, and they kept it in the France. Like that they for made it for the mass. They made it for the time. Time is the time is like when the electron is excited. it goes from the ground state to the excited state so so there it will stay for one microsecond one nanosecond 10 to the power of minus 9 second again the electron will come down this will so many times it has to happen okay so that is calculated as one second so we are not going to go in detail about this so they have given definition for length mass time temperature and all all the seven definition these all the standard values are kept in uh, uh, science museum in paris in france so those who are interested they will go to the france they will get it they 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 give you how to pay some money you will get the prototype not exactly of the same metal but you will get a prototype you come to your country made duplicate of that so that is why throughout the world across the world in all the countries you have length means 1 meter means 1 meter only it is not going to change Whether it is Africa, whether it is India, whether it is UAE, or whether any country, one meter means the same value. They will give the same value. Is it not? If it is one kg, one kg you buy sugar, it is everywhere it is same. It is not changing. One second is everywhere same. It is not changing. Like that, the through across the world, it became the same now. Understood? Across the world, the value of the meter, ma, kilogram, time, second, everything. The values are same. It won't change. Is it clear? So that is how it became a standard value uh, across the world. Got it? Yes. Yes, sir. Next is what? Next definition is base unit. Just please copy this quickly. We will go ahead. Stop this guy. Now. <clears throat> Next is a uh, base unit. Base unit. What is base unit? The unit. The unit of, of fundamental physical quantity. Yeah, the unit of fundamental physical quantity. The unit of fundamental physical quantity. That is said to be what? Base. Unit. Okay. What is the example for base unit? That whatever that in the table of twelve seven are given, meter, kilogram, second, okay. So, meter, kilogram, second, candy law. Then what else we have? What we got? Mole, Kelvin. Yeah, mole. Then Kelvin, then ampere. These are all seven base units. Okay. What is a derived thing? Next comes derived quantity. Derived quantity. What is a derived quantity? Quantity which is derived from fundamental physical quantity. Very good. 
quantities which are derived from fundamental physical quantities. Quantities, physical quantities, okay, which are derived from which are derived from uh, fundamental physical or other physical quantities or fundamental physical quantities. Quantities which are derived from fundamental physical quantities are known as <coughs> derived quantities. What is the example for that? Like example, we have velocity. Velocity is written as V is equal to the X by T, displacement beta. So how do we write now? Displacement is L, sorry, meter, we write meter. Okay, not the units. Okay. Or we can write F is equal to MA, mass into acceleration. Work done is equal to force into displacement. Like that we have, like that we have a force and then pressure. Pressure is equal to what force per unit area. Yeah. Then uh, we have energy and all. Okay, all the momentum. Other. Momentum. Momentum is what P is equal to M by V. M V. So this is a uh, momentum. Like that, these are all the uh, derived points. Next is what uh, derived units. Derived units. What are derived derived unit? The unit of derived quantity. Unit of derived quantity is derived unit. So we have what for force example for this is what Newton. Yeah. Newton, Joule, Pascal. Okay. Uh, these are the derived units. But can we write can we express the same in the base form? Yes, we can. So Newton means what? Kg meter per second. Joule means kg meter per second square. Yeah. Is it not? So meter square per second square. Yeah, this is second square. This is meter square per second square. Okay. Uh, force per unit area. So this will become what? This will become force per unit area. Kg meter per second square by meter square. So that will become kg meter power minus one as power minus. So that is derived units. So we can express, these are the derived units. You can express them in the base form. Got it. So Newton is the unit of what? Unit of which physical? Force. Force. And two is the unit of? Energy. Energy or work done. And Pascal is the unit of? Pressure. Pressure, very good. So, very good. So, that's about derived units. Okay. So, Pascal's base unit is kg meter per kg per meter second power minus two. I'll write here. Oh, okay. Sir. Is equal to kg meter power minus one second power minus two. Okay. Like that, we can express all the physical quantities. Uh, all the direct quantities in the form of again base form. So further you, you need to know the formulas. So basically I'm not going to at the appendix last pages of the book. You'll find all the formulas around there are 30 or 40 formulas are there. But that is including grade 11 and grade 12. So do, don't worry of grade 12 now as of now. There are only some formulas which are required for grade 11 that is enough. Okay. And then, then they don't get messed up with the formulas also. Learn few, like three or four or five formulas a day, then we'll be able to uh, remember. We can within a week, you'll be able to learn for grade 11 what are required. Anyways, while, while teaching, you know, lessons, we will we'll be uh, discussing formula in every few formulas in every lesson. So that automatically you will learn. By the end of the year, we'll be learn, learning around 40, 50 formulas. Okay. Next, last one is, yeah, this is done. Next is what uh, supplementary quantities, okay? Supplementary quantities. So supplementary quantities. So. Oh, 
So supplementary quantities means. So here we have. Uh, like you know other than uh, they are not fundamental physical quantities but example like you have uh, circular measure circular and uh, spherical measurement so we have like plane angle plane angle if you want to measure, measure the angle plane angle okay so example like suppose you want to measure like this is this is a this is theta theta is equal to l by r this is s and this is r Okay, theta is equal to what we write? Theta is equal to S by R or L by R. Okay. Arc length by radius. Theta is equal to arc length. Arc length by radius. Okay. So it is measured in what? Radians. Radian or R in. Okay. This is plane angle. 